I have question about shit tests. Okay. What's and uh, are they like you said? You don't. Uh, they are numerous, and you can't un identify them all. So I wonder if they are formulaic or not, because I'm so data driven and I like rules. I don't know, but that's how I'm up. So, are they formulaic, and how okay, do you so know they are coming? There. Okay, so let me stop okay. you there to kind of deal with that. So. Mm -hmm. All that a shit test is, is it's a test of your competency. Women, women test men so they can identify that you're the best that they can do. If, if they're not going to test you, then they can't identify that you're the best that they can do. So the fact that she's testing you is good. <laughs> the fact that she's testing you is a good thing. But if she continuously tests you as you pass these tests, that's a bad thing, okay? It's a good thing to begin with because it demonstrates that she's got a genuine interest in you and wants to establish your competency skills. But if they're ongoing, like every single day you're having a knock shit test out of the park, this chick's gonna be exhausting, right? Like she either enters your frame and supports your purpose and your mission, or she's gonna keep shit testing you. There are women that will, that will constantly competently competency test men, even though they are the best that they can do, just because they're, how can I put it? <laughs> they're just not women that you want to be with on a long-term basis because they're going to drain your batteries, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Exactly. So if you are a top shelf man and she's throwing tests out at you, cool, that's fine, pass them. But if they keep coming and you find it irritating, then you need to make a decision about how far you're going to let this carry on. And if you want to cut her off or push her away and get her at arm's distance or just get rid of her altogether. All right. And okay, so the second question is on frame. Yeah, the frame is, you said bring it to your frame. And what frame are we talking exactly? Is it like a cultural frame that the culture puts it or the frame that I was raised in because okay. I was have raised you, in a very feminine frame. Have you so. have you read the book from beginning to end? No, till chapter, let me see, till chapter uh, eight. Okay, so what's your interpretation of what frame is? Because there's a glossary at the back of the book. I thought it's about the way you were raised and your values, your what you believe system. Okay, stop, stop. So you see how I'm controlling the frame of this conversation? Yes. Right? You're in my frame. This is my show. You're not going to interrupt me. You're not going to talk about things that aren't relevant to stuff that, you know, is going to be on topic with content that I discuss. If you start to ramble, then I'm going to cut you off sort of thing. So that's what managing frame really looks like between two different people. In intersexual dynamics between men and women, when you're running the frame of the relationship, she always defers to you. If there's a decision to be made, she's going to defer to you. If there's a car that needs to be bought, she's going to, de she's going to defer to you. If there's a place that you're going to move to or vacation, she's going to defer to you. How the children are going to be raised, she's going to defer to you because your frame is the dominant frame in the relationship. So that's what frame is. One, one person always enters the other person's frame in a long-term relationship or any kind of engagement like we're having right now, there's always one person entering the other person's frame. All right, so it's not by the culture slash traditional country you're in per se. Well, there's it's cultural about... things that will drive it. There's like the way you were raised by your parents, if your dad was absent, if he was an alpha or if he was a beta, like those things will shape who you are as a man, but that has nothing to do with frame. Picture, picture this box, you know, between us two right now, you know, this like chat window, that's a frame and we're both in the frame, but this happens to be my frame. Okay. So if you look at it that way, when you're dealing with a woman, it's, it's, this is my frame, you know, we have to make sure she's in it. And there's certain things that you can do to test that. So you're um, Muslim. Yeah, I met this guy once and I've told the story before and I'll probably keep telling it because I think it's fucking great. But he was telling me how he met his wife and the way that he would test women was he would have them come over on the first date. He was a Muslim dude. He would have women come over on the first date to his place and make them fold his laundry, organize his closet or just do some kind of task. And that was a, a way for him to establish frame in that relationship. Before anything even happened. So 
with every so with every relationship that you enter with any woman there's always going to be one person entering the other person's frame and if you don't lead if you don't run the dominant frame you'll be in her frame okay